Hey guys, it's John, your Tennessee flying farmer. Uh, day five, I believe. Hopefully I got that right this time. Anyway, still working on build stuff. Uh, it's, again, slow. I'm busy on the farm. Feed day again today, so I'll give you a little footage of that, actually. But you may see as much farm footage as you do for airplane footage before this whole thing's done. Um, anyway, this specialty metal. Let's take a look and see what I've got going on there. This guy's good. Now, here's our farmer, John Humbred. Look at that! Oh, my God! That was Whoa. good. Okay, so what I've got going on here, um, basically this is a steering rod. There's one on each side of the front nose strut on the Zenith. Um, it's a, from the factory, it's a chromoly piece. You see it's got a, just an end welded on it there that a bolt goes through and then the other end is threaded. Uh, the other end actually is threaded to hold this bearing. So it's anyway, that's what the stock setup is like. I don't know if any of you guys even guessed or not, but well, I guess let's get out of the bag. This is titanium. So I'm, I'm trying my first hand at, at titanium fabricating and it's, I enjoy welding it. It's actually pretty cool to weld. It seems to penetrate well and do what it needs to. So to make that steering rod, I started out basically just with a piece of 5 16 straight uh, round rod, titanium rod and then a piece of plate. And I basically just cut out the, the square like they did for the factory set up. You see the, the square tip there, it's just, it's welded, welded around. Works really well. So I've basically just done the same thing. I've cut my square out of that, bored a hole in it, and wound up with a pretty similar setup in titanium. I know that I don't need titanium for this airplane, but it's really just something I wanted to try. I've, I've seen titanium engine rods and that kind of stuff before. Never have tried to fabricate it. So anyway, I really wanted to try to fabricate and see if I could even weld it. Anyway, titanium is supposed to be very, very strong and quite a bit lighter. So it's kind of like the scallops and some of the other stuff I'm doing, the, all the extra trimming. It's, it's really not going to add up to much. And probably the benefit or I guess the reward versus the amount of time it takes to get there is probably not worth it at all, but just, I guess, perfectionism and me wanting it my own way is coming out, and that's what I'm doing. I am running into a little issue, though. I'm trying to thread this stuff, and I am finding out that it's kind of a booger to thread. I bought a new die for it. It's a high-speed steel die, which is supposed to be pretty decent for titanium. But anyway, it's it's turned into a pretty good booger to thread. The stuff is tough, and it wants to wants to kind of seize up on it. So if any of you guys have suggestions on how to make this threading titanium easier, I'm I'm definitely listening for that. Anyway, on this TIG torch, I did have a question on it a good while back, and I never did get around to answering it. They ask what kind of TIG torch and what kind of welder I'm using. This is a, I'm actually using an Everlast welder and this, at the time you could order this torch directly through them. It is called a TIG 18. It has a control wheel for the uh, amount of heat you wanna put in it. And of course, like everything else, I've modified this torch too. It's, it's a water cool torch, but I've modified the switch. So I've put a switch on it where I could turn the TIG actually on and off right there with the switch. And then you can adjust the amount of, of heat you put into it with the knob instead of using a foot pedal, which is what, what a lot of people do. And the reason I do that, most of the, most of the welding I do is it's, it's almost all free-handed. I, I don't have the luxury of being able to sit at a workbench and, and hit a pedal and lean on the workbench. It just, most of this stuff is up underneath a piece of farm equipment or a vehicle or it's some kind of weird position to even get to, and you just, a lot of times you can't even touch the pedal. So anyway, that's that's what I've kind of grown up with and known was the hand control, and that's what I've what I've learned to use, and I'm, I'm getting okay with it. <clears throat> but this little on and off switch, the part, that's the part I modified on that. That actual, <laughs> that little white part is actually the top of an ink pen. I've put a, I've disassembled this entire piece and it's a little circuit board in there. I've disassembled it and I soldered in a different kind of a micro switch. Had a momentary switch and I've 
put in one that I can actually make a, a latching switch so it's just on or you have to click it again to turn it off. And it, you know, for what I do, it works really, really well. So anyway, really not much progress other than that. Just the titanium work, uh, the windows and all that kind of stuff. Still pretty much where you saw them the other day. I just haven't had time to, to mess with it much. I'm Honestly, I'm spending a lot more time putting videos together for you guys than what I am working on the airplane. So I may have to back off that just a little. But anyway, uh, hopefully that'll ease up as we get just a little bit further along and finished with the harvest season and and get wheat planted and that kind of stuff. So hopefully hopefully here in the next few days, I'll get a little extra time to, to work on this some more and I'll try to get you guys some better content. Anyway, like, subscribe, share the videos if you like them. Um, every little bit helps on that end too. I appreciate you guys. See ya.